Something that's not often discussed a lot when you're working in the IT career field is having a healthy work-life balance. This is a super important topic because work-life balance, having a healthy one, it doesn't just affect your overall well-being, it also affects your productivity in your career. So basically, if you want to operate at an optimal level and be able to be super successful in your career, then having a healthy work-life balance is definitely going to be something important for you and something that you should know. If that's something that you're interested in, then that's what I'm dropping today. I'm going to be going over things that I have found that has helped me out in my career that I had to learn and I had to grow to understand because I didn't really think that having a healthy work-life balance and taking vacation time off and stuff like that was really important. But definitely as you get older, you get family and everything like that. And not even that, there is a, it's stressful in the IT career field, whether you know it or not. Uh, some people think that just cause you're sitting at a desk, you're not really working because you're not doing any kind of physical labor, but stressing your brain out like that, sitting for hours trying to figure out, doing research and everything is just as stressful or as much as demanding on your body, if not more than doing physical labor, in my opinion. So if you're interested in hearing the best way to maintain a good work-life balance, if you're already in the IT career, make sure to lock in with this video because this one's gonna be for you. And if you like the video, definitely it's going to help me out in them algos. You already know, thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel and all that there. Appreciate everybody for tapping in as always. So let's go ahead and get right into this video. All right, up first, what I'm going to talk about is something that I had to learn was that all of this stuff about working in this IT field is all about mindset. So to be a network engineer, you're gonna have to have the mindset of a network engineer, meaning you're gonna have to start thinking like a network engineer. So if you're a network admin and you're trying to solve an issue, but you have to escalate it to a network engineer, if you wanna get into the mindset of a network engineer, you're gonna have to start taking on those kind of issues, those more complex networking issues and trying to research and learn from them on your own. So again, that's the kind of mindset that you have to have. And to have that mindset is just having an intentional kind of life. So the way that I've learned and grown is to just have a 80, 20% mindset. And I just apply this kind of mindset to every aspect of life, whether it's working out, being healthy, eating, studying, family time, whatever the case may be, this is how you start to develop some kind of healthy work-life balance. So living intentionally, I would say, if you want to level up in your career, you need to focus 80% on doing that. And then the other 20%, you don't really need to focus on leveling up. If you focus on 80% of the time, just leveling up the other 20% of the time, that's when you can be chilling and relaxing and everything. So. As an example, if you sit and watch or doom scroll social media and you're watching TV, Netflix and chilling 80% of your time and you're studying 20% of the time, the, the result of that you already know is going to be nothing because you're not consuming anything valuable. You're not going to gain any kind of value out of that. Now on the flip side, if you live intentionally and 80% of the time you sitting there studying or you're worried about work or you're focusing on leveling up at work and then 20% of the time you're watching Netflix or getting on the game or whatever the case may be, the ultimate result of that is going to be you creating more value in yourself because 80% of the time you're doing the things that you may not want to do, but the things that are necessary that somebody that is already leveled up, the, everybody has done the same thing. Whoever is a network engineer, we've all done it. We've all had to sit there and study all kinds of networking protocols, the routing protocols. We had to lab so many hours. Nobody just wakes up and starts talking like that. So the whole point of that is, is you just need to focus 80% of whatever you're doing on whatever your goal is. That should be your mindset. And that's how you're gonna find that balance because again, it's not just all work and no play. No, you get to play, but a majority of your time, you need to be aware of, of whatever, if you're going after a certification, then 
it ain't no time for no vacations and stuff like that. It's time to get the certification. Now, the vacation and stuff, a birthday parties, the turn up, whatever the case may be, all of that can come later. If you want to level up, it's just that's it's a simple formula. 80%. Same thing if you want to eat right. 80% of the time, you need to be thinking about eating fruits and vegetables and 20% of the time, go get that uh, Big Mac or whatever the case may be, whatever you want to, pizza, all of that stuff. But 80% of the time is, is fruits, uh, what, almonds. You think about it is that nobody has to tell you what you need to be doing 80% of the time to be the best version of yourself or the most healthiest person or the best mindset. You need to be reading 80% of the time if you wanna gain more knowledge. You're not gonna gain more knowledge by 80% of the time just binge watching TV shows or doom scrolling social media. That's the, the only result of that is you're just gonna be up on the latest gossip or something like that. That's the only value that you're gonna get out of that. And if, you're, if your goal is to be a network admin and you doom scrolling, watching the latest Diddy a story or whatever the case may be, or following some friend on whatever the case may be on social ma media, that's what the results gonna be. You gonna know more about social media than you are networking. It is pretty simple, just like that. And going to the gym, the same thing. These are all examples, right? It's all about a mindset. Either you gonna 80% do that 80% of the time, or you not. And I understand, trust me, I got kids and everything. The, 80% of that time when, when you're with your children or stuff, it needs to be with them if that's what you want to focus on family time. But sometimes I got to get sacrificed. If you have to study, you can't have 80% time family and 80% time studying. So that's just, that's just plain and simple for anybody to be successful. That's just one thing is just mindset. And hopefully all of that made sense. All right, second thing to have a healthy work-life balance. Again, you need to be exercising regularly. And no, I don't mean that you need to have a gym membership, but if, you're, if you work remote like me and you're in IT, then you sit at a desk all day. Or even if you go in the office and you sit at a desk all day, no matter what, you shouldn't be sitting down six to eight hours a day because that is just gonna bring stress into your life that's gonna bring all of these other things that you may not be even be aware that it's causing that because you're not exercising, but all these other health issues, all of that stuff, you're not gonna have a healthy work-life balance. You're gonna be stressed at work because your health is all messed up. And I'm, I'm saying this even for myself too, cause trust me, I'd rather just sit, binge watch, chill, and do nothing all day, absolutely. But also, I don't want to have any health issues. So you're gonna have to just get out there. If it's walking three times a week only, and that's what you can do, just walk around somewhere for three times a week. Just do that. Or if it's running, that's what I do. I run at least three times a week. But I also get in the gym and I hit them weights or whatever. But any kind of exercise, whether it's gardening, if you wanna start a gardening. Again, we all grown here. I don't have to explain all of these things for you. I'm just trying to provide some insight of how I'm so successful in my career and how I've been successful in my career because I definitely ain't new to this. I'm true to this and, and this is what I've been doing. And if just one person can subscribe to that kind of idea or this kind of way of thinking, I think that it will help bring them a good work-life balance as well. Finally is sleep. Sleep is super important. I don't know all the science behind it, but again, this is something that I need to tell myself because I stay up late night and it's because I'm researching stuff for content creation. I'm researching stuff for my job. I have a terrible sleep habit, but sleep is super important and it's something that you must do. And that's something that I'm working on. So drop it in the comments if you could tell me, put me onto something. I know there's supplements like magnesium, all of this other kind of stuff that I checked out from Andrew Uberman on, on that, but I ain't with popping pills. I can't even swallow an aspirin. I gotta chew that thing. But um, if there's any other kind of tips and stuff, I, I do stuff like you gotta make the room as cold as possible, try to make it as dark as possible and no blue light. All of these things are good. And I'm just saying get good sleep because again, these are all things that are gonna cause stress, especially in work and, and in your life because you're not gonna be he healthy. And then you're just not gonna be as productive as you can be. 
and you definitely can be productive by not doing none of these things you can definitely just brute strength and just ah, and just try to get through it but why do that when there's just certain little adjustments that you can make in your life to just make it that much easier and make make your journey that much quicker if you're trying to become a network engineer or if you're trying to level up in your career doing these things can definitely just make that much more easier for you that's all i got for y'all on this one hopefully again all of that made sense hopefully it provided some kind of insight and gave you something useful that you can apply to your life whether it did or didn't let me know in the comments if you guys like this one if you want to see more content like this or if y'all don't want to hear about being more productive or none of that and y'all just want me to get straight to the technical stuff we can go that route i'm really here to just serve y'all so i'm just trying to serve up that stuff that y'all want want to know about so just let me know in the comments or if you want to connect or whatever the case may be definitely thumbs up the video and everything please it helps out in the algorithms and all gets me going in all the algos and it turns me up i'm trying to get turned up you already know and then definitely subscribe to the channel as always of course and i will holla at y'all on that next video peace